I really saw what poverty was. And I saw how children were living. And it hit me. And so, you know, I'm thinking, wow, this is amazing. And in the back of this bus were just tons of shoes that we had raised. And we get to the event, and I saw miles and miles of children without shoes. I realized I'm not a basketball coach. I realized what this really was all about. And I realized even more importantly that my son was sitting next to me. And that my son realized that it was more than just what he thought at 14 years old. And I realized the impact that it was having on the players that I recruited. That there was no college experience that they could get. That I could go see my starting point guard washing the feet of a child who's never even had their feet washed getting a pair of shoes. After the event, when there were parents and kids crying because they ran out of shoes, my son taking his shoes off, giving it to a little girl. Mm -hmm. At that time, I realized why I was at IEPY. At that particular time, I realized why I was coaching. At that particular time, as we were pulling off, I realized really why I was placed here on earth. All this time, I thought it was about trying to become a great basketball coach. I thought it was about winning games. People run to me all the time. Every day, people, why, why have you stayed at IEPY? We love you here in the city, but why have you stayed? It's not for them to know why I stayed. I used to try to find answers. I used to be, you know, try to find, when people would say, what does IEPY stand for? And I would get so frustrated by that. People don't ask that question anymore. What we were able to do nationally, what we were able to do to help children, you know, all those things are great. But when I sat there and I saw the children, I tell this story all the time and the people of Samaritan's Feet hear me tell the story before. Um, one of the things that's changed my life completely, Samaritan's Feet has, has, has done that. This, this whole deal of, of going barefoot and I'll continue to do this the rest of my life. But one particular 20 minutes changed me completely. As I'm watching my players and my wife and, and, and Todd and, and, and you know, my, Todd's complaining, I'm complaining, and we're like, boy, it's hot out here. <laughs> you know, we're sitting up here and, and, and you know, my players, and, you know, it was weird because, and I, I'm sidetracked a little bit, I remember my players, but right before we were getting ready to, to, to leave on the first event, and Todd didn't know this, but the players came to my room and said, Coach, I'm not washing those feet. I, I'm sorry, we're, we're, we just can't, can we just pass out the shoes? Can we skip the part about washing the feet? And I knew they were uncomfortable with it. And so I just talked to them and I said, listen, uh, I want you to do what you, what's in your heart. If you feel like that's a, you know, you want to do that, I'll start off first and I'll show you that, that it's okay. And uh, then later maybe you can join in. But I want you to understand what service is about. I said that, you know, I, but remember, these children, they have no idea. Most of them, they don't even understand that your basketball players or what that means. So I'm going to ask you to do it. If you don't want to, I'm not going to force you to do it. Five minutes into the event, it was amazing. My players were pulling people back. They wanted to wash their feet. And that's all they talk about. Even now, that's the one thing they talk about. They were so consumed about the diseases. They were so consumed about uh, doing this. It got to the point where Todd would walk by and say, okay, you're spending way too much time on this kid. But one of the things that we would do, we would have interpreters. And my players would sit there and say, these are shoes not from IEPY, they're not from Samaritan's Feet. This is a gift of God. And we would explain it, and then the interpreters would say it. And then they would say, what would you like for us to pray for you with? And it would blow my players' mind that not, they didn't ask for bikes. They didn't ask for video games or PlayStations. They asked to have a meal, protect mommy and daddy. Can I get a pair of shoes for mom and dad? And so my players would come back and talk about that. And the entire trip we were there, not once did we ever talk about basketball. 